Hello, Leratu. Hello, how are you? Very good. Thanks for calling in with your question. It's a really good question on trigonometry for grade 12s. So uh, let's get straight to it. Leratu, you said that uh, your question was in identity. You had to prove that sine of 3x minus sine x must be equal I to... I can not hear you clearly. Would you please speak a bit louder? I must speak louder. Okay. Well, I'm speaking as loudly as I can. Uh, okay. So maybe you must just follow uh, as I'm pointing on the screen. Is that better? Hello? Is that better, Leratu? Yeah, this is much better. Good, good. Glad you can hear me now. Right, you have an identity, sine 3x minus sine x must be equal to 2 cos 2x times sine x. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Now, Leratu, you have worked with these identities. Um, which side do you suggest that we begin with? Mm. We have to prove yeah. that this quantity is equal to that quantity. Is there a particular side you think we should try and, uh, and tackle? The left-hand side. The left-hand side? Mm. And why would you say that? Because I think it's not that complicated like the right-hand side. You think that that's more complicated than that. Okay, what do you think is, is, is the complicated portion on the right-hand side? Because there are two courses and on the, on the, on the right-hand side, we have two courses and on the, right -hand side, on the left-hand side, there's only one, call, one sign. Okay, so you think that the fact that we have a cos and a sign on, this, on the right-hand side, it's two ratios, so it's making it more complicated. Okay, interesting. It's it's your it's uh, your observation, which is which is fair. However, if you look at the left hand side, have you ever seen sine three x before? Mm, I've only seen sine four sine four theta. That's okay. Something. All right. So I was asking you that question simply because sine three x we don't often work with. So even though you've spotted that on the left hand side you've got signs and, and if you're working with one ratio it's maybe easier however that sine 3x could pose a problem because we don't have a formula for sine 3x the only formula that we have is for sine 2x what is sine 2x equal to pardon sine 2x what is the formula for sine 2x it's sine 2x plus x The compound angle formulae um, that you study uh, will be the sine of x plus x, which if you expand that will be 2 sine x cos x. Lerato, have you seen that before? Have you seen this formula before? Yes, I'm familiar with it. Not for the first time that I'm seeing it. It's not the first time? No, wait, wait. Uh, sine. Yeah, I'm not seeing it for the first time. Okay, sine of double the angle. It's called your double angle formulae. Sine of double the angle is twice of the product of sine and cos of that same angle. Right. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to memorize this because this will appear on your formula sheet. But it's good to just put it into that memory bank because it's much quicker to retrieve it when you're trying to use it. So it will be in your formula sheet. What about cos 2x? What is that equal to? Cos 2x. Yes. Cos sine sine change cos cos. Give me one. Give me just one. One formula for that double angle. Cos x. My brother, cos x. Just repeat that again. Cos x. Yes. My cos x. Okay, it's twice of cos squared x minus 1. Okay, I don't think you have the formulae correct, Leratu. I think you need to take these two formulae down. They are in your textbook, and I think you need to memorize them because you don't know these formulae, and you cannot prove the identity if you don't know these formulae. These are fixed, and they will appear in your formula sheet. Okay, 
Now this is one of the versions. The other version is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And the other version is cos squared x minus sine squared x. And you okay. must have those in front of you when you're doing these trig identities so that you can confirm that your formula is correct. Right, let's go back to the question. Um, we have that sine 3x minus sine x equals 2 cos 2x times sine x. And I say to you that this was a bit tricky because we don't have sine 3x. We've got sine 2x and we've got cos 2x, but we don't have sine 3x. So with sine 3x, you're going to have to add x and 2x together to get a 3x. You happy with that? 1 and 2 gives me 3. 3x is your Okay. And I am going to only take, at this, t at this stage, I'm only going to take the left-hand side. Okay. All right? Um. And uh, the left-hand side is, is that, but I need to take you to another piece of vital information, and that is, what is the sign of the sum of two angles? What is that equal to? Yeah. Do you know what the expansion is for the sine of the sum of two angles? I can't hear you clearly. You're breaking up. Okay. Lerato, unfortunately, we're going to let go of the line because uh, I'm battling to hear you. So um, I'm going to carry on the question on the screen. Just follow me on the screen. Okay. Right. I was asking Lerato what the sum of sine A and B is. And that is the sine of A cos of B plus the cos of a sine of me. Again, this is a formulae. There are four of them for compound angles. And if we don't know this, we can't apply it to the problem. So we're going to apply this formula. If I have the sum of two angles, it's the product of sine and cos, and it's the sum of those two terms. So if I go back, I have um, the sine of the sum of two angles, which will automatically give me sine of x cos of 2x plus the cos of x times the sine of 2x. So we have the first angle of sine, first angle of cos, and then we've got cos 2x and sine 2x. The one term that I've forgotten is this minus sine x, so let's put him in there. And then if we look at these terms, we see that there is a sine over here that's common but there's no sine term over here. So let's do a little bit of expansion with this sine 2x term, because sine 2x, I was saying earlier, is the same as 2 sine x cos x multiplied by cos x minus the sine x. And now I have sine x times cos 2x plus 2 sine this is just cos squared x minus sine x. And that gives me, there's a common factor of sine x. If I take that out, I'm left with cos 2x plus cos squared x minus 1. And there's also 2 missing off there. Now, before we have looked at that the... cos 2x, double the angle, is the same as 2 cos squared x minus 1. So I can replace these two terms with just cos of double the angle. That's exactly the same thing. So we're just going to go up and we're going to replace the 2 cos squared x as plus cos 2x and Two of those gives me 2 cos 2x multiplied by the sine x. And if we look at the right-hand side, it's 2 cos 2x times sine x. So that's equal to the right-hand side. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>